The next thing that we are going to look at is the energy changes involved when there is a change in state. Okay, when your solid change to liquid, right? This one is melting. So this is your melting point. Okay, when your liquid change to gas, this one is your boiling point. Okay, so for example, if you use water or ice as an example, as solid is 0 degrees Celsius, liquid maybe 25 and then gas, this is more than 100, more than 100 degrees Celsius, right? So if you see there's an increase in temperature, so my energy is being absorbed. Okay, your particles will absorb in this energy. So they absorb in this energy, they start to move faster. So your solid, which is vibrating, start to slide and then start to move in random and far apart. Okay, please know that solid can also turn directly into gas in the term sublimation. Okay, so likewise sublimation, this one is increase in energy. The particles will gain this energy. Okay, and then when my gas condenses to liquid, freeze to solid right so from liquid change to solid right from gas change to liquid change to solid what is going to happen the energy change right from 100 degrees i change back to zero i am losing this energy right so from 100 i lose to zero so i'm losing this energy so when they lose this energy they move slower so from random and far apart they start to slide in layers and then they start to vibrate about fixed position okay the opposite of um, sublimation is your deposition forming deposits okay same thing this is energy being lost or heat energy being lost this part is also quite important. We need to know the differences between your boiling and evaporation. So boiling, especially for pure substance, occurs at fixed temperature. Evaporation occurs at any temperature, outside room temperature, 25 degrees, 35 degrees, any temperature effectively evaporation can occur. Okay, Boiling is very quick and there's an external heat source. Evaporation is usually much slower and then this heat is from surrounding. Okay. The temperature remains constant. This one, the temperature may change. Okay, boiling, there's bubbling, and then it takes place within the liquid. Within the liquid means all your particles. All these liquid particles that you see over here, all of them, they will turn into gas at the same time. Okay, but for evaporation, this one only takes place at the surface. If this liquid is evaporating, only this first layer will evaporate first, followed by the next layer followed by the next layer okay so this one actually we already talked about it just now over here in sublimation but i'll just go through it again okay sublimation is the process where solid turns into gas directly okay so sublimation occurs at the surface only all right and then it is when my solid they gain enough energy and then they break away to escape as gas so sublimation common products that sublime we have to know your solid iodine solid ammonium salt okay ammonium something ammonium something they were sublime your solid carbon dioxide was sublime the naphthalene the mothballs were also sublime okay the description when we want to describe the change in state using energy what do we do okay so we can say something like this huh Okay, we are describing the deposition. Huh? So iodine vapor changes back into solid during deposition. What happens? The iodine, they lose heat to the cold surface and then they, iodine particles, they lose kinetic energy. So they lose heat, they lose kinetic energy and then when they lose the kinetic energy, they move slower, right? So when they move slower, the attractive force becomes stronger. So from random and far apart, they start to vibrate about fixed position to become solid. Okay, this is the standard explanation that we have to explain for the change in state.